I've watched a lot of YouTube on Fusion 360 and 3D printing and Maker's Muse is still one of my favorites. And there's one Fusion 360 tip for 3D printing that kind of blew my mind. And I think it's gonna help you. So how do you simulate your 3D printer slicer while you're still working in Fusion 360? So here's the tip everyone. You come up to inspect and find section analysis. You wanna start at the bottom of your part that you're gonna put against the plate, the 3D print plate, make sure that it's going up. And then as you drag, you're gonna see how this would print. So I can see, okay, great. It's starting with this circular face coming up. And then this looks interesting. There's a gap here. And as I go, you can see there is an immediate changeover. There's an overhang right here. That quick change is not good for my 3D print. I'm gonna need some supports in this area. So how can this help me design better in Fusion 360? So I had this challenge. I needed to design a cap that would go on our trampoline at home and allow me to zip tie the net and hold it up to the very top. It keeps sliding down and ripping. And so I needed a custom cap or clamp to go to the very top and designed around this post. So this is the first iteration that I came up with and I wanted the right design that would be easy to 3D print without any additional supports and would print well. So when I turn on my section analysis, as we saw before, you can see that there's some overhangs. So my goal is to introduce a gradual change and that's where chamfers or fillets are your friend. Adding the chamfers here and now investigating with the section analysis I can see that it's going to gradually print this, right? So let's flip this around and come up. So you can see it's coming up. And so that overhang that was a problem before is gently coming back, printing together. And then this overhang that used to jet out now gradually comes out. So I've used this a number of times now in many different designs where I could just ease into the print instead of creating an overhang. So when we look at Magnus's design, you can see he has this part. And so all these overhangs and challenges. And so using this slicer technique, he's able to make the part stronger, but also eliminate the need for supports, making the 3D print easier. So hey, if you're looking to ramp up your 3D printing skills, check out my Fusion 360 Jumpstart. Warning, this can lead you to building a lot more cool custom prints. Link in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.